What is up, Flame Gang? It's your boy, Baby Boy, back at it again with another one. And today we're gonna be going over my recent pickups. Now, most of these pickups are things I've picked up in the past couple months. Some of this clothes is summer clothing, some of it's not. It's really just different stuff I picked up in, in streetwear. And I wanted to show you guys. I mean, I, I feel like I don't actually show you guys enough of my own stuff and what's going on. And I wanted to let you guys know, like you're the homies. I wanted to let you know what I've been copying. If you guys like this, definitely leave a like and drop a comment too. Let me know if this is a vibe you guys would get down with. If this is something you're into, I can definitely drop more videos around what I'm copying. And I have done a lot of different product reviews as well. So if you guys are interested, I'll drop my product review playlist right here. You guys can check out some of my other cops. But this is stuff I haven't shown you guys yet. Oh, and P.S. I am filming at my girlfriend's house, so you may hear her walking back and forth, or a cat may come on screen at some point. Just bear with me. So we're gonna start from head to toe with the pickups. Starting off with the head, I am a hat guy, and I copped a few different hats recently. Starting off with this old school pirate's hat. Um, nothing too special about this one. This is a Velcro. It's kind of like a strap back Velcro. Nothing very special, green underbrim. It's got a little bit of sweat on it, but I just got this because it's kind of a classic looking hat. I love the P. It, it, it's just pretty standard. Something I'm not afraid to beat up, giving me that vintage look. The next pickup I got was this um, Amé Leon door hat. So this is actually a Mets fitted hat. I've been big on fitteds lately. And I really like this one because I believe it was a brushed nylon is what the material is. It honestly feels like a felt. It's super soft. And then it's got the gray underbrim in there. But yeah, I got a Mets one just because I already do have a Yankees hat. So I don't think I needed one of those. I'm not really a baseball guy. So you're going to see a lot of random teams here. But as you can see, a May Leon door fitted. I just think it's a dope look. It's kind of like an OG looking hat. I thought it was a dope pickup for summer and fall. Next up, I got this Fat Tiger Works corduroy hat. Um, it is kind of like a five panel vibe. It just reminded me of like stuff I used to wear back in high school. So I got kind of nostalgic with this cop, but I do like how it fits. It's kind of like a straight bill, which is hats I don't really rock with too much anymore, but I do like the look of it. And it, it's got a really nice color and feels good. And Fat Tiger Works is a Chicago based kind of streetwear brand. So, you know, I got to support the local, local home teams but I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of it in the fall. These next two I actually bought at the same time, which were these two fitteds I got from Lids. Going over the first one, this is kind of an all gray. Gray and purple and white are the kind of the accent colors. There's a little bit of black on there as well. Chicago Bulls, I'm a huge Bulls fan and we just got a squad going. We just got some really good pickups with DeMar DeRozan. Uh, Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, so I'm hyped on the team. As far as this, as this fitted, I'm not super happy with this purchase because both of these fitteds I got are, they're a little bit trendy. And I kind of regret it because I know in a year or two, I'm gonna look back and just wish I got, you know, a fitted that was a bit less trendy, less colorful, maybe a green underbrim or a gray underbrim, something classic. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this hat. Um, I do like it for now. Uh, it's just hard because with the amount of colors it's got going on, it, it's, it makes you, you just wanna like coordinate all the colors. Same thing with this fitted. Um, I actually do this like with this one because it's got some cool accents. Uh, it's got the Chicago River Bridge right here and then it has a deep dish pizza. So definitely a um, shout out to Chicago with this hat. But again, it, it's a little bit trendier than I would like. I just know it's probably not gonna get that longevity in my wardrobe, which is something I've been you know, trying to seek out lately. But still a pretty cool hat. All right, next up, we're moving down to tops. So anything that fits on the body. First t-shirt I got is a this vintage Reba t-shirt. Um, I'm very excited about this one as Reba is like one of the most famous gingers and us gingers have to stick together. So that's kind of why I bought this one. But it is dope. It is a 1994 Reba t-shirt. It is on a Haynes heavyweight tag. It's got a bunch of different cities on the back. It's a tour t-shirt. I think it's pretty sick. Next up in the t-shirts, I got this Joe Fresh Goods t-shirt. Um, again, Chicago guy, he's the owner of Fat Tiger Works, so I was definitely showing him some love with this t-shirt. This is the 7-Eleven collaboration. I'm a huge fan of 7-Eleven and the materials on this shirt were dope. I thought the graphic was really cool. I don't really need any more graphic tees, so I'm actually probably gonna stop buying graphic tees and, and, and go more into just more timeless looking shirts, but I did think this was dope and I wanted to support the collaboration. So next up, I'm gonna go over a few crew necks I've copped recently, kind of sweaters getting ready for fall. I got this um, Fruit of the Loom vintage Nebraska Huskers 
sweater. Um, I don't know what year it is, but it definitely is uh, of the vintage vibe. Um, I have some family out in Nebraska and they are uh, Cornhuskers fans. So I thought this would be a decent cop. It's a really nice, you know, material, super cozy. Can't go wrong with this. I bought this off Depop actually for like 12 bucks. So I was not mad at that at all. Next up, we got this. Actually, it's an Everlast all gray hoodie or it's an all gray long sleeve sweater. No hood on this. This one is super basic. It's just this heathered gray. It has an Everlast hit down in the, the bottom left corner. Super basic. I thought it would be a great layering piece for the fall. So that's why I caught this one. This next cop is kind of in the same vein. This is an H&M uh, sweater as well. No hood on this one either. I got this one because I was buying my girl something off H&M and I was like, I need to cop something. If I'm getting this ordered online, like let me cop something as well. Um, and it's in this really nice tan colorway. You might see a little bit of makeup on the on the front of the sweater. That is also for my girlfriend, but I don't really want to wash and dry this because for those of you that, that buy from H&M and kind of fast fashion places, you know that washing and drying some of their pieces can really ruin them. So I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of this, but it is a really nice color. It's pretty soft. I'm a little bit worried about the kind of laundering of this sweater though. Now let's go into jackets. I caught two jackets recently that I wanted to show you guys. The first one is this dope uh, Stussy jacket. It's called a coach jacket. So if you guys were interested, definitely look up like coach jacket. That's this style. It has this huge Stussy print on the front. It's got this dope Stussy World Tribe patch on the sleeve. And it has, you know, another Stussy hit right on the the front left of the jacket. You guys will see that in the B-roll, but I just think this is a super dope jacket. Very lightweight. I'll definitely be able to use this for layering. It's just kind of sick. Like Stussy is a great streetwear brand. If you guys have never bought anything streetwear, it's a great brand to start with because they're like 40 years, years old at this point. They have a lot of skin in the game and they have a lot of just timeless dope designs. I'm a huge fan of Stussy, vintage and now. I think they make a lot of good stuff. The second jacket I wanted to show you guys is this, um, this is a Uniqlo jacket. I don't remember what it was called. It, it's, it's just kind of a really basic jacket with a button collar. It's in this really nice like forest green colorway. A lot of nice button details on the, on the cuffs of the wrist. And there's a couple other buttons throughout that'll allow you to kind of tighten up the jacket. And then I like the, the pattern on the inside with the flannel. It's just a super cozy jacket. I really like Uniqlo. They make really solid basics. So this was one that I was pretty hyped to have. Okay, I have I have three bottoms to show you guys. So first bottom are, is this pair of Levi's 505s. This color and this wash is really just like a dad jean wash, honestly. But I wanted to get this wash because I haven't, I don't have any washes that are like this, this kind of just good old USA blue. And it's in the Levi's 505, which is probably one of my favorite fits right now. 505 is probably my favorite fit right now from Levi's. It's just a super chill fit. It's their kind of straight relaxed fit. And it gets the job done for me. I like this wash too, because it kind of hits on that, that norm core vibe that we've been talking about lately, which it's basically like the Seinfeld type vibe, but I do like these jeans. I'm excited to get some wear out of them. Next up on the jeans are actually the jeans I'm wearing right now. They are J. Crew Selvage denim. So they're kind of a straight, slimmer fit, but I really like them because they are selvage and I don't have a lot of selvage denim. For those of you who don't know, selvage is kind of, it's the way they produce the jeans. They're a bit more higher quality and they're really jeans that, um, they usually come in like a raw denim. They're a very dark indigo blue and they have a selv edge. And I'll show you guys in the B-roll what that looks like. The selv edge is on the inside of the jeans. It has this, it has this fabric on it that kind of indicates that it's selvage. But I'm really excited to wear these, break these things in. Um, I think they go great with a lot of the kicks I've been wearing lately. The only pair of shorts I really copped recently were these White Sierra um, purple baggy. They're, they're basically Patagonia baggies. Um, they have a five inch inseam pretty much entirely nylon. They're basically swim trunks, but they kind of been getting the job done for me this summer and they, they got a dope look to them. All right, next up we've got sneakers. And one note here is that every time I buy a pair of shoes, I try to sell a pair and that's okay with me. Um, I like to kind of reinvest in my closet. If there's something that I'm not really feeling as much anymore and it has value, I'm not afraid to get rid of that so that I can make some room for new shoes. So I try to be a little bit responsible with everything I purchase. 
but you guys are gonna see I got a lot of shoes recently. Starting off, we're gonna go with the uh, New Balance Year of the Ox. I teased these in another video I made about New Balance, but this is the, the New Balance 2002R Year of the Ox. These shoes are just so dope. I'm really liking the colors on these right now. They're almost entirely made of suede. They've got this majority black suede on them, a navy blue, and then a forest green suede. And side note, the 2002R is super comfortable. I would highly recommend this shoe. And I'm also excited to wear these because they're a bit more muted colors and they're gonna go with a lot of my fits this fall and winter. Next up, we've got the Solomon Wings Pro 2. So I actually thrifted these shoes for $8 and I was very surprised. I wore these out in a weekend hiking in Denver and they really got the job done. This was my first pair of Solomons. They are very comfortable. They're a great hiking shoe. And they also fit with that like core, core aesthetic we've been talking about recently. So I'm, I'm very stoked to have these. I think I might have to get another pair, but for eight bucks, I couldn't go wrong with these. I bought these at the thrift, kind of cleaned them up a bit. And I really like the look of them. I just, the colors on these are a little questionable, but I still think it was a dope shoe. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Next up, we've got the No Tray Nike Dunk High. So this is a shoe I've showed you guys in a previous video. I never really talked about them too much. And I know you guys know, like I, I am not a huge fan of Nike Dunks just cause the, the Nike Dunks that are being produced these days are really low quality. That is not what the vibe is on these No Tray Dunks. There, there's a really high quality on here from the suede all around the shoe. There's some really nice leathers on here and some really nice rugged canvases as well. No Tree is also a Chicago shop, Chicago-based clothing store. So I feel like I gotta support, you know, I, I love to have things that have roots in Chicago. Uh, I think this is a great collaboration with a Chicago-based brand. This is probably the only dunk I'm gonna have for a very long time, but I'm very glad I got this color. I'm very happy I got this collaboration. It's just a very wearable shoe as well. Next up, we got the Pierre Moss Reebok. I think this one was called the Daytona, maybe. I got these for a pretty good deal on eBay. Um, they, I think I got them for like 90 bucks, so I was pretty hyped, but I got into this a designer, Pierre Moss. He's a Haitian American designer, doing a lot of dope things with footwear. I would definitely keep an eye out for him if you guys are into kind of design, a, a bit more fashion-y, high fashion things, but his footwear just hits the mark. And, and this was one of the shoes I wanted to grab. Again, only $90. It's got a really interesting look, futuristic shape to it. So I was very happy to get my hands on these. I cannot wait to try and style these with some different pants coming this fall. So pretty hyped on these. There's a lot of nice materials and it's just dope to have kind of a piece of a new designer that's up and coming. Last but not least, I have these Converse Ambush Collaboration boots. Um, these are a duck boot. I just wanted to get a cool boot for, obviously for fall, winter. And this is a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but I wanted to try a, a new look. And, and I think this is gonna be a dope way to do that. I got these on an, an Essence sale. So these were, I only got these for like 70 bucks. So I was very hyped on them. I think they have a really nice like combat boot slash, I don't know, workwear aesthetic to them but they also have this really chunky sole to them. So, so I think this will kind of get me out of my comfort zone and, and you know make me kind of rock some new fits. So I'm excited for these. Yo, I almost forgot probably the biggest shoe pickup I'm excited about, and that is these Jordan 1 Black Toes. This is a shoe that I've wanted for forever. I had the Jordan 1 Bread Toes, but they are not as quite as dope because MJ actually hooped in these. And, and being from Chicago, being a Bulls fan, that's something that kind of matters to me. This is just more of a classic colorway and I bought them from Old Clothes Are Cool. He's got, he's on Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, all that. And he kind of hooked it up. I don't know, I was just really excited to get a shoe that is truly timeless. You know, this is, this shoe debuted in 85. It is one of those classic colorways and I cannot wait to get, get fits off in this shoe. With pretty much everything I have, I've been trying to buy things that are more so timeless or kind of just will work in my wardrobe for a long time. This colorway of the Jordan 1, I know is never gonna go out of style. Very excited to have these. Flame Gang, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's kind of like what I've been copying recently. If you guys like this, I would definitely be down to do more streetwear pickups in the near future and just keep documenting what I'm copying. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay fresh out there. Peace.